And as I was riding in, and I looked across the street where Nardine's precious daughter was murdered five years ago, one day from today, I closed my eyes and I saw it. I saw it in the Sandy Hook School, the school down the street from where I live, where my daughter attended, where my daughter's third grade teacher was murdered. Our children deserve, you know, to grow up. They have that right. And we as adults have the right and we deserve to grow old. And unfortunately, that's not the reality anymore. You know, I planned my life a certain way and had everything aligned for me to grow old with my daughter. Five years later, I still find it really surreal. Like, I know I'm dreaming. At some point, I will wake up out of this cloud and Brichelle will be, you know, here. We need to keep this matter before us. And that's why we welcome so much Team 26 and all who have come with you. And there's another reason we welcome you. It's because of our own bitter experience with gun violence. Nardine, of course, represents that for us in this city. Uh, but it goes all the way from the loss of our children to the loss of our vote. We got a bill through the House and the Senate that would have given us at least uh, that final vote. I have the votes in committees, I have everything else, but that final vote, you know, that vote which is emblematic of citizenship. Uh, we got a bill to give us that vote at least in the House, through both the House and the Senate just a few years ago. Uh, but the National Rifle Association attached an amendment to it that would have wiped out every single gun law in the District of, of Columbia. High capacity magazines would have been uh, possible. Assault weapons would have been possible. So imagine what we were faced with. Our rights, the rights we have struggled for for 200 years, or the public safety of our children and our people. But we had to give up uh, our rights. And that was indeed a bitter experience. And when you add on to that the people we have lost, the children we have lost, uh, then perhaps you can understand why we identify so closely with all of you who come to Washington who are helping to keep gun safety alive, uh, even without headlines every day. Because unless we're willing to do that, unless this is a sustainable matter, it cannot be defeated.